Hello, this is Goofer King Science. Today I want to show you this small Tesla coil I built. Even though it's small and the output isn't very large, it can do some very cool things, such as power these fluorescent lights wirelessly. While the concept behind how these Tesla coils work can be quite difficult to understand, they aren't that hard to build, although it is quite time consuming. Perhaps the most time consuming part is winding the secondary coil. This secondary that I'm using has about 1000 turns of 30 gauge wire and this took me about 2 hours to wind by hand. The primary coil is just wrapped around a piece of cardboard that is slightly larger diameter tubing than the PVC pipe. It has about 10 turns of 12 gauge wire. This is not near as time consuming, obviously, as the secondary coil. Now I'll break down the circuit that powers this. The power comes from this variac set to about 65 volts and then it goes through my ignition transformer. This puts out about 5000 volts AC into this rectifier that converts it to DC. Now it charges this capacitor that discharges across this spark gap. The current created is usable by the Tesla coil to generate high frequency, high voltage currents. I've grounded the bottom of the Tesla coil secondary to my house's ground. So when a screwdriver is held up to the charged top load, a spark will jump across since it's trying to reach ground. Now as I demonstrated earlier, this thing can light up fluorescent bulbs, but what else can it do? Well, I have this small incandescent nightlight here. Let's see what happens when I hold it up to the Tesla coil. Now, as you can see, little tendrils of high voltage seem to be jumping out of the filaments. It's also ionizing the inert gas inside of the bulb and making it glow green. I also have this krypton-filled bulb from a plasma globe. Let's see what happens when we expose it to the Tesla coil. Now, this is very impressive. It obviously is ionizing the krypton gas as well. And it lets out this iridescent blue glow that it's actually very bright. If I touch the sides of the glass, you can see I get the same effect as if I were touching a plasma globe. Well, I have one more thing I want to try, this giant fluorescent tube. Impressively, this Tesla coil lights up the entire tube. It makes me sort of feel like a Jedi with my own lightsaber. <laughs> I'm on my way to becoming a Jedi Master. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is one of the most fun projects I've worked on in a while. See you guys in the next video. Bye.